before we proceed, I really want you guys to understand that these techniques that I'm about to give you not only just works for the low basic scalp unit, but also for the low scalp expose unit, as well as for hairline repair. For the low scalp expose unit, you wanna comb or brush the hair out really good. This is how you get that unit to look like it's really low hair. If you look on my page, you will see plenty of examples of where I have people who look like they just got low haircuts. The only way I was able to get that effect was by combing or brushing the unit hair out. Now getting back to the low basic unit, this is the hair that I use, Cuban twist hair, color 1B. As you can see, it kind of looks like dreadlocks, which is great for you because it's easy to apply. You just cut it one by one and you apply it dread by dread or one by one to their scalp. Very easy. I always apply the hair to the left perimeter first, and then I work my way to the right perimeter. Then I fill in the middle as I go. To me, this is the most effective way to apply the hair to the scalp. Simple and easy. You can apply the do-rag right before you begin cutting the hair down. That's actually the safest way, but me being experienced and for demonstration purposes, I'm going right in, okay? Free hand only. I can't stress that enough. Do not apply clipper guards or any detachable blades when cutting hair units. Do this free hand only. Take your time when doing these hair units. It is no rush. Speed will come. Eventually, you will have your own tips and tricks and different techniques that you do. You can multitask. You can let the adhesive dry and cut hair at the same time. There's so many ways that you can do this. So get creative, have fun. But I do want you guys, when you're cutting the hair down, take your time around the transition areas. Do not rush that especially. When you're cutting the middle down, that's really not hard at all. But the transition areas is where you have to be more careful. You can see the blend is already starting to form. His right side is looking really good. If it's any easier for you guys, just know that there's basically two ways to do this unit. Two ways. You can either get the Cuban twist hair that looks like dreads, such as this, and put it on and apply, or you can use a regular Marley type of hair and comb it out and give it that more laid look. 
and even in some cases, the client will have a slight wave when you actually comb it out. So it's pretty much two different ways that you can do this same unit. If that makes it any easier, you can classify it as a different unit to your clients if you want to, but it's pretty much the same unit. Try to be gentle when you're cutting. You don't want to press down too hard. Just be gentle. Take your time. No rush. Give yourself maybe two and a half hours or so when doing your first one. Trust me, you'll get it. So remember, just to reiterate, there's two ways in which you can do this unit. But I want you guys to use your eye. Develop that eye for hair. Okay, please develop that eye. It will take you a long way. You do not want to do every unit the same. Every low unit that you get, you do not want to use Cuban twist hair. I do not recommend that. If a person has thicker hair, I say use Cuban twist hair. If a person has thinner hair and it lays and it lays down more, then go ahead and comb it out and use the Marley hair and comb it out or whatever hair you find. Just comb it out or brush it out. I want you guys to be able to manipulate the hair to do what you want to do with it. I do not want you guys like some of these other barbers I see. They do one unit the same way for everybody. It doesn't work that way, okay? I want you guys to manipulate the hair to have a natural appearance so it can look really good and authentic. I want my students to be on top. I want you guys to really go and kill the game, all right? That also applies to hairline repair as well. If their hair is thicker, I would use Cuban twist. If it's thinner, I would brush the hair out or comb the hair out. All right, but in the end, use your eye and judge and see what's best. Notice how I use my hand to remove the hair. My hand essentially is the comb when I'm doing this hair unit. You can also brush or comb out the Cuban twist hair as well. Keep that in mind also. Once again, I feel like Cuban twist hair is more for those who have thicker or coarse hair. So use your judgment and go accordingly. Okay, the unit's looking really good in the back. Really nice and blended. I'm just cutting it down section by section. Do yourself a favor. Do not go into any job blind. What do I mean? I'll tell you. I require two to five clear photos of every hair unit I do. I need to see their areas of recession in photo form, clear photo, because I don't have time to do in-person consultations. There's just no way in our busy schedules as barbers and stylists that we can accommodate people in person. There's just really no way possible. The easiest way to do it is by having them send you photos by whatever means you choose to do so, text message, email, DM, and your Instagram or whatever, however you wanna do it. But do not go into any job blind, all right? Please do not do that. To all my students, please understand that 80% of your hair unit income will be from these low units. That's how it is for me. I do all the units. I've been trained thoroughly on every single unit. There's not a unit that I haven't done, but 80% of my income comes from the scalp exposed units. And when I say scalp exposed, I'm meaning any unit that you put on the scalp directly, whether it's a low scalp exposed that you comb or brush out, whether it's a low basic such as I'm doing now, whether it's a wave unit, or even a hairline repair. Master these to the best of your ability because these will be the bulk of your hair unit income. This is the same for me. The same for me. This is the bulk of my hair unit income. I do all the units, but most people will want these. The lower units is where you make your money. That's your number one money maker. Keep this in mind. Another tip. Make sure you get before and after photos of your work. 
whether it's by video or photos. This is how you will gain clientele. People need to know what you're doing. Make sure you take those photos. Now you guys can start to see his look forming. It's really starting to come together now. Don't let these hair units intimidate you. Please do not do that, all right? With repetition, everything becomes easier. Remember, you follow this technique for the low scalp expose unit as well as for the hairline repair. So you essentially just got three units in one video. That's what I'm giving you guys. Stay tuned. Transformation coming next.